Well, 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 apparently we got some trade rumors swirling around in the mix. I love this time of year. Smells like Christmas. Love it, okay, because usually we're on the receiving end of some gifts. Okay, Lakers are always in trade talks. Even when we're bad, your favorite team wanted to, you know, we were always in a free agency talks to trade talks, okay? It just is what it is, you know? So, Lakers fans, we're used to this. This is regular for me, you know? I'm used to this. But um, we just talked about, if you haven't seen this video, go check it out after this one is done. But I just talked about Kuzma and his pros and cons. Should we keep him? Should we get him his sizable contract extension that he requested? Wow. He requested one. Or I was like, should we just trade him? Like, what should we do? And now it's looking like, it's looking like he's up on the block. No. Trade okay, and he was never an un untouchable player. That's that. Now we have a candidate by the name of DeMar DeRozan. <laughs> DeMar, De DeMar DeRozan? You know what? I won't even say it. Go ahead and play the clip. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking about DeMar DeRozan of USC. Compton High School, he's already from LA. Come on now, he's a shooting guard. Just played for the Spurs. Y'all, a lot of y'all might know him from the Raptors back in the day. He averaged 22 points last season, 53% from the field, 5.5 rebounds, 5.6 assists. Stop playing. Now, now I know some of y'all might not be sold. I know some of y'all might be like, why are you so hype? I'm not even really hype. I'm just, I'm just kind of like over exaggerating it because I think it's funny. Like we're just. We're smack dab in the middle of every rumor. Like, your teams are like struggling to get bits and pieces and everyone's flocking to us. I'm just confused, but you know, I, I was told our roster was just full of nobodies and, and nothing but LeBron and Anthony Davis, yet I have a ring on my finger weighing my finger down. Wow. Yeah. But um, yeah, DeMar DeRozan is a solid addition, okay? He could, to me, be a third option. All right, this is what Kuzma was supposed to be. That's not my words, that was everybody's words. Everyone expected Kuzma to be the third option for the Lakers, right? When Anthony Davis, when um, LeBron is not on the floor, who can step up and fill that third option role where, okay, I can create my own shot, lead an offense, and really just get some scoring going, okay? I mean, I'm sorry, but Danny Green wasn't doing it. And I love you, Danny Green, love you, Danny Green, but you weren't doing it, um, sad to say. Also, Kyle Kuzma was kind of struggling to do it, especially in the bubble, and he struggled to fit in in this new roster. He has. He was flourishing before. His numbers have taken a great hit. I, I'm not gonna talk about that. I said it in the video, so go check out my last video. I'll put it in the comments. The first pin in the comments, click that link and watch that video. So I won't talk about Kuzma anymore. You have to watch the video, because I broke it all down. But what I will say is this. To me, DeMar DeRozan has a lot of pros, okay? He's a great mid-range shooter, Obviously, he can get to the rim and score. That's what he does, right? He can pass, he's gonna get in there and get his rebounds and boards. He can kind of do it all, but shoot from the perimeter. You know, so that might be a downfall to some people. People are saying, you know, Kuzma is a way better three-point shooter. Obviously, Danny Green is a way better three-point shooter. And I feel that, you know what I mean? We do need three-point shooters to space out the floor. It's a fact. However, he's still gonna score though. He's still gonna give us those points. It may not be from the three, but he can still kind of space the floor a little bit um, in the mid-range. And he's, he's just gonna get his 20 some odd points per night. He can go off if you need him to. We've seen it. He's a great player, right? But his defense is also uh, nowhere to be found. I put on my glasses. I searched all over, couldn't find it. Went here, looked over here, couldn't find it. Looked behind the Laker wall, couldn't find it. So, you know, there's some pros and cons to this. And I think it just kind of comes down to scoring to me. Because like, I think Danny Green brings a lot of good perimeter D, so we'd be losing perimeter D. We would be losing some shooting, you know, combined with, I know you guys are gonna kill me for that, but. Combined, Danny Green and Kuzma, they, they were making some threes, okay? We're gonna lose that, but we will gain that scoring back, right? We're gonna gain a more reliable third option. I'll say that, like a more solid third option. That's someone you can put on the court and it's like, okay, boom, he is our third option. It's not like this night, this person's our, our, our third option, this person's our third option that night. So with that, it's like, which one's more valuable to you? Do you want more options? We have two people that can space the floor, shoot the three, uh, one that can really defend, 
on the perimeter and stuff like that. Or on the other hand, you have someone that can just come in, you're gonna drop him into this system and he's just gonna go ahead and get to work, period. He's gonna score the basketball. He's gonna be another threat, you know, which is something that we desperately need, okay? Another piece into this, which I'll talk about, and I guess another video, so many rumors flying around, but Victor Oladipo has kind of been, not linked to the Lakers, but I've heard the rumors, you know? And if you don't know who Victor Oladipo is, I actually have a before the NBA video. If you're an OG of the channel, you know what those are, okay? I haven't posted those in years, but I have one made on him. So I'm gonna wait, I guess, to see where he goes so I can finish it, but it's a 40 minute documentary style video. But I think he's a great player, great defender, great scorer, but a lot of people, I don't know if they don't like him right now or something, I don't know, but to me, he's a great player. So some people are saying we should skip on DeMar and try to go for Victor because Victor adds that three point shooting and the defense. So it's a lot of different elements coming into play. I think it just, once again, comes down to what Rob thinks we need. I trust Rob, and Rob, we trust. Wow. I trust Rob, per personally. I've seen what he can do in the limited amount of time. I saw what he was able to do when Kawhi thought he had the upper hand on us, and he was dragging us along through free agency. Rob saw through it and already had calls lined up. Soon as Kawhi made his little choice, oh. he signed people like this. He already had. Rob is too smart, so I trust him to make the correct decision. And just in general, it's like not even our decision to make. It's like, what are they gonna be asking? So I don't wanna get too deep into it until I know the parameters of the trade. Like what all is gonna be involved. And I wanna see the Victor Oladipo possible trade as well before I say which one I would rather and stuff like that. Cause I just don't know who all is gonna be involved and what. So that's just what I came on here to talk about, guys. We're in it right now. We're in the trade rumors. I love this time of year. You gotta make sure you turn on the post notifications because I'm gonna be just dropping them. I'm sorry. I can't control when the rumors drop. They're dropping, I'm recording. It, it is what it is. I got the PS5 sitting right there. I said, I'm not touching that. I got a video to make. Wow. It's the dedication for me. So make sure to subscribe to this Blast Road if you haven't. Check out that video about uh, Kuzma if you haven't seen it yet. Comment down below what you guys think though about DeMar DeRozan. He might be coming from, you know, the Spurs might be your favorite team or the Raptors. Let me know if you think he'd be a good third option for LA or not. Is the shooting really that big of a problem? Let me know. Comment down below. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.